Are you bugged by ants? Bothered by mice? Well, you're not alone. Many child care centers have these pests and others too. Do you want to keep pests out of your center? Or do you already have pests that you want to get rid of? Are you concerned about using pesticides in your center? Then keep watching. In this video series, we'll show you how to manage pests without using a lot of pesticides. We're talking about Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. IPM focuses on looking for pests and keeping them out, rather than using pesticides first. There are some really good reasons why you should adopt IPM. It's easy. Chances are you're already doing IPM in your daily activities, so it's easier than spraying pesticides. IPM can be cheaper than regularly scheduled pesticide applications. You use pesticides only when you really need them. And many of the tools you'll use for IPM are reusable, like traps, or there's something you already have, like microfiber cloths. Using fewer pesticides will reduce the potential for exposure. Pesticides should be used only when other efforts fail. Finally, IPM works better than just spraying pesticides. It's a long-term solution to your pest problems rather than a quick fix. In this video, we'll show you how to manage pests without using a lot of pesticides. We're talking about Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. You first need to make sure that pests can't get in. Check all the doors to the outside for gaps. If you can see daylight under the door, pests can get in. A mouse can squeeze in through a gap the width of a pencil. Install door sweeps on your exterior doors. Ants, cockroaches, spiders, and mice won't be able to get in under the door. Flying insects like wasps, mosquitoes, and flies can get inside through this hole in the screen. Get the holes fixed or get a new screen to keep out bugs. Did you know that this gap is like a door into your center for cockroaches and other pests? They crawl right inside into the wall voids and make their homes there. Once they're in the wall voids, they can get into the rooms. Seal the gaps around pipes with flexible sealant and some copper or steel mesh. Rodents can chew through the sealant, so you'll need to fit the mesh in the gap and then use sealant to hold it in place. Pests come into your center looking for food, water, and shelter. You can make your center less welcoming to pests with some easy changes, like getting rid of clutter. Mice love piles of paper and fabric like this. They'll make their homes here and can hide for a long time without being seen. Plastic boxes with good, tight-fitting lids like this one are great for organizing supplies and keeping pests out. When everything is put away tidily, you'll easily be able to spot any pests before they multiply and chew up your supplies. Get organized and pests won't be able to make a home inside your center. In the kitchen, they can get into your stored food, like cereal, and ruin it. I put all our dry food into these plastic containers as soon as I get it. I don't have problems with ants or moths in my kitchen cabinets and the food stays fresher. We sent home art projects made with food, like rice, beans, and pasta. If we posted these on the walls of the center, it would attract pests. Don't forget about the playground when you're thinking about pests. Most pests come in from the outside. If pests are living in your playground, they could get inside. Pests like ants, cockroaches, wasps, and rats love garbage. Make sure to get rid of the garbage at the end of every day. You also should put lids on garbage cans, especially outdoor ones, and clean the cans often. You don't want to attract ants and wasps with the sticky stuff that builds up inside the can. As much fun as it might be for the kids, don't overwater plants. Extra water on the ground gives pests a drink and encourages mosquitoes to breed. Keep plants trimmed up off the ground and away from the building so rats and other pests don't have a place to hide. Rats like to live in dense ground cover like ivy. Spiders, especially black widows, make their webs in secluded places like under tables and inside play equipment. Check these areas weekly with a flashlight. Use a vacuum to clean up the spiders and their webs. You can keep pests out of your center with just a few common sense practices. Make sure pests can't get in, make sure they have nowhere to hide, and make sure there's nothing for them to eat or drink. In this video, we'll show you how to manage pests without using a lot of pesticides. Some people will spray pesticides just in case they have pests. A 
Applying pesticides when you don't need to is a waste of money and increases the chance of exposing people to chemicals by mistake. Find out if you have pests in your center first. Most common pests, like cockroaches and rats, only come out at night. You probably won't see them, so you'll have to look for signs that they're around. Others, like spiders, are around all the time. You can spot spider webs any time of day. You just need to know where to look. You might find mouse and rat droppings under shelves, in cupboards, water heater closets, or near doors. If you have a cockroach infestation, you might see cockroach droppings, egg cases, or shed insect skins. Look in cupboards, corners of closets, behind pictures, and in electrical boxes. Pests leave a mess when they eat, so that's another clue to help you find out if you have pests. Look around your school garden for chewed on fruit and vegetables. This is a sign that you have rats around. Most pests will hide, so you need to know where to look for them. Pests can be in unexpected places. Some roaches like to hide behind wall hangings and art. Roaches and other bugs can also hide behind baseboards and moldings and in cracks. Check windowsills for pests. You'll often see dead insects there, a sign that they're getting into your center. Check behind and under furniture for pest evidence and the pests themselves. Sticky traps, like this one, can help you find out what pests are wandering around at night and where they're coming from. Place the sticky traps where the insects are likely to walk, such as next to walls and in corners, underneath shelving, and near water sources. Check the sticky traps daily to see if you've caught anything. When the traps get full or dusty, the glue stops being sticky and nothing else will get caught. Replace them with new sticky traps. A telescoping mirror, which you can find in any hardware store, and a flashlight can help you look for pests in hidden spots. Use a metal spatula to dig into cracks to find hidden pests or signs of pests. Remember, finding out if you have pests in your center is the first thing you should do before deciding to treat for them. You can find pests with a few simple tools, knowing where to look, and knowing what to look for. Ants visit your center because they're attracted to the food and water inside. You might be tempted to grab a pesticide or call someone to spray, but before you do, let us show you how to manage ants without using a lot of pesticides. We're talking about Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. First, find out where the ants are. Check the bathroom, the kitchen, and the eating areas. Next, find out where the ants are getting in. Are they getting in under a door, through a hole in a window screen, through a crack in an outside wall, or maybe through a hole in the back of a cabinet? Keep ants out of your center by sealing up places where they get in. Use caulk or other sealing materials for small holes and cracks. Install door sweeps on exterior doors to keep ants and other pests from coming in under the door. Why are the ants in your center? All pests need food, water, and shelter. Ants will come indoors looking for water, especially in hot weather. When you mop, make sure that there are no puddles left on the floor. Look under your sinks to see if there are any leaking pipes. If there are, fix them and any dripping taps. Don't leave dishes to sit or soak overnight. Check and empty out the water tray under the refrigerator. Ants can live off even a few crumbs of food, so you need to sweep and mop daily. Deep cleaning will solve a lot of your ant problems. Clean up ant trails with soapy water. Clean grease and food scraps off stoves, counters, and floors every day. I put all our dry food in these plastic containers. They keep the ants out and the food stays fresher. Don't forget outdoors. Ants usually live in the ground and under foundation slabs. Trim bushes and tree branches away from the sides of the building so that ants can't use these as bridges into the building. Sometimes you just can't seem to get rid of ants. If you've tried everything and you still have ants, consider using an ant bait station. Ant bait stations contain pesticides that the ants take back to their nests. The ants feed it to the other ants and the entire nest is gone. Bait stations are great at getting rid of ants and they don't expose people to pesticides. Where you put bait stations is very important. Don't place them inside because ants will march into your center to get the bait. Instead, place them outside the building, near where the ants are entering. Put them out of reach of children. It's important to use bait stations correctly. 
so always follow the product label. Remember, it may take a week or more to get rid of the ants. Here's some other important tips. Don't spray any other pesticides while using bait stations, or you'll kill the ants that are supposed to bring bait back to the nest. Be patient and continue to clean up ant trails. And avoid using strong smelling cleaners, which will repel the ants from the bait stations. Remember, by following these simple integrated pest management tips, you can easily get rid of ants and many other pests in your child care center without regular pesticide sprays. No one wants cockroaches around, especially in a child care center. They can spread germs and their waste can cause asthma attacks. We'll show you how to manage cockroaches without using a lot of pesticides. We're talking about integrated pest management, or IPM for short. There are four basic steps. First, find out what kind of cockroaches they are and where they're hiding. Second, find out how they're getting in. Third, do some deep cleaning. And fourth, if you have to, use pesticide baits. So, what kind of cockroaches do you have? You need to figure out if you have outdoor cockroaches that are invading your center or indoor cockroaches that live in your center. Each type of cockroach comes into your center in a different way. You'll get rid of them using different practices. Outdoor cockroaches live outside in sewers and other humid, dirty places, but will come inside in search of food and water. Keeping them out can solve your cockroach problem. Outdoor cockroaches often slip in under exterior doors. Check your doors to see if there are gaps underneath. If so, install brush style door sweeps. They can also get into buildings through tiny gaps, like those around pipes. You can use caulk to seal small gaps. Once you've cut off these entrances for these types of cockroaches, your problem may be solved. Indoor cockroaches are smaller, live inside buildings, and are harder to get rid of. They like to lay their egg cases in cardboard boxes and paper bags. You could be getting cockroach delivery along with your supplies. You can find indoor cockroaches hiding under and behind warm appliances like refrigerators and stoves, in cracks and crevices, behind loose molding, in gaps along shelves and countertops, behind wall hangings and clocks, in door jams, under shelf liners in cabinets and drawers, and even in computers. Once you know you have indoor cockroaches in your center, get rid of their food, water, and shelter. You have to regularly and thoroughly clean to get rid of anything the cockroaches are eating or drinking. Check and empty the fridge drip pan weekly. Clean grease and food scraps off stoves, counters, and floors every day. Look under sinks to see if there are any leaking pipes. If there are, fix them. Don't leave dishes soaking overnight. You probably already sweep and mop the floors daily, but make sure you get rid of food crumbs under counters and appliances. And don't forget to dry the floor. Puddles left overnight will give cockroaches plenty to drink. Cockroaches love garbage cans, so be sure to clean garbage cans even if you use a liner. Food and liquid can build up under the liner and attract cockroaches. Make sure there's nowhere for cockroaches to live in your center. Organize your supplies and get rid of junk. Store food in tightly sealed plastic or metal containers. Don't keep food in cardboard boxes, even the ones they came in. Use shelves in storage areas to keep things off the floor. This makes it easier to clean and easier to spot pests that might be lurking. Once you've cleaned thoroughly, it's time to remove the remaining cockroaches. Sticky trap can help lower the number of cockroaches, as well as let you know where they're hiding. Place them behind and under kitchen appliances, under shelves, inside cabinets, along walls and garbage areas, and near exterior doors. Use a HEPA-filtered vacuum cleaner with a nozzle attachment and vacuum the cockroach hiding places you discovered. Vacuum up the live cockroaches as well as their waste since both trigger asthma. If you have a big cockroach problem, cockroach bait stations work well. And they don't expose people to pesticides. It's important to use bait correctly, so always follow the product label. Don't get impatient. Baiting takes time to work, and you have to keep your center clean in the meantime. Don't spray any other pesticides when using them. Over-the-counter sprays and foggers will only kill the roaches you see, and they increase the chance of exposing people to pesticides. 
and avoid using strong smelling cleaners, which will repel the cockroaches from the bait station. Getting rid of cockroaches takes time and a little effort. Seal up access to keep cockroaches out and clean deeply. With these tips, you can get rid of cockroaches and protect the health of the children in your care. Are mice or rats invading your child care center? Wild rodents can be destructive and spread disease. Mice and rats usually come out at night when you're gone, but they'll leave signs behind. There are four easy steps to get rid of rodents in your center. One, find out how they're getting in. Two, keep them out. Three, remove their food, water, and shelter. And four, use traps. Look for droppings. Mice and rats leave droppings as they scamper around your center. You might find droppings under shelves, in cupboards, water heater closets, or near doors. If the mice or rats are in the wall voids, you may hear scratching, scrabbling, or squeaking. Once you know you have mice or rats, find out where and how they're getting in. Look around for holes and cracks. Mice can squeeze them through a crack the size of a pencil. Sealing up the access points is the best way to get rid of rodents in your building. Install brush style door sweeps on your exterior doors. These sweeps help keep mice, rats, and other pests out. Make sure you keep outside doors closed, especially at dusk. You might need to let your custodians know to shut the doors when you're not there. Seal the gaps around pipes with flexible sealant and some copper or steel mesh. Rodents can chew through the sealant, so you'll need to fit the mesh in the gap and then use sealant to hold it in place. Where are they hiding? Is there a closet full of clutter? Disorganized drawers? Undisturbed clutter gives mice and rats a hiding place. You might even find mice nesting in a pile of papers or clothing. Declutter as much as you can to get rid of rodent hiding places. Plastic boxes with good, tight-fitting lids like this one are great for organizing supplies and keeping pets out. What are they eating? Mice and rats usually eat our food and will gladly eat it out of the trash. Take the trash out at the end of every day. Leaving food out overnight is an invitation to rodents and other pests. Mice love to eat cereal and other dry food. Here's a mess left behind by a mouse munching. I put all our dry food into these plastic containers as soon as I get it. The mice don't eat the food and the food stays fresher. Deep cleaning will get rid of a lot of pest problems. Get down on the floor and look under furniture for food crumbs. Clean grease and food scraps off stoves, counters, and floors every day. Don't forget outdoors. Keep plants trimmed up off the ground so rats and other pests don't have a place to hide. Rats like to live in dense ground cover like ivy. As much fun as it might be for the kids, don't overwater plants. Extra water on the ground gives pests a drink. Once you know you have a mouse or rat in your center, you need to trap them. But don't try to trap until the center is sealed against rodent entry. Mice and rats behave very differently. Rats are cautious and smart. They avoid traps, so you have to trick them. Do this by leaving fresh bait on the trap before you set it. Rats like to eat dried fruit and peanut butter. Wait until they start eating the bait, then set the trap. Mice are curious and easier to catch. You don't need to pre-bait like you do for rats. Use a lot of traps with large triggers like this one. Mice like peanut butter and chocolate. Mice and rats follow edges along walls, furniture, and cabinets. Place the trap trigger against the edge. Mice and rats usually only come out at night, so you don't need to have the traps out all the time. Set them before you leave for the night and pick them up first thing in the morning because you don't want any of your kids getting their fingers snapped. Another option for trapping rodents is a battery-operated rodent trap. The mouse or rat enters the trap and is electrocuted. Many people will prefer these devices because they don't have to touch the dead rodent. What about rat or mouse poison? You have to be careful because if not handled correctly, these pesticides can be very dangerous to children and pets. And rats that eat the poison may die inside walls, causing smells and decay. So, if you must use a poison, it's probably better to hire a professional pest management company and let them handle the situation. Using poison alone doesn't get rid of your rodent problem if your center still rolls out the welcome mat. 
Make them unwelcome by remembering the four simple integrated pest management steps. Finding out how they're getting in, keeping them out, removing their food, water, and shelter, and using traps. For more information about IPM and child care centers, check out the other videos in this series, as well as the DPR website. Use IPM in your center and don't let pests feel like guests.